we understand that we get to answers without having to go through 10 years of therapy, a decade as it were, or that we have to have endless conversations of going in this circle thinking we found something only for the next layer to pop up. And then that's an event. And then the next one's an event. When in reality, if I asked you point blank, who created this? And you had to look at me, you would have to, in the end, go to the heart of it and say, I did. And that'd just be this moment. And the earth didn't end, and you didn't die. And there we have it. And suddenly, you could breathe. Cover-ups, negotiations, indeed, denials, blames, excuses, uh, imagined uh, advice, all hide a secret about you. And they're really quite unearth-shaking things. But once you stop them, then you have to keep it up. The blame has to keep going. Then here is the problem in getting to the heart of the matter. Is we have to take all of it back. But the journey to the heart of any dilemma already is, the answer is already there. Admitting it is bittersweet until you admit it and then you finally feel relieved. Evolutions, everything to do with taking the sword and cutting the rope that ties the great ship to shoreline and let it sail. You were afraid that you would be lonely and no one would ever fill those shoes Absolutely, no one is supposed to. And therein lies the issue. Someone coming along that makes you feel happy already makes you a cripple. Self-respect about the joy of the moment and the respect for your own cognitive thought process and that being alone and contemplating is not a judgment, but that it is the most quality time spending in conversations of thought with the mind of God. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant geniuses crave those disciplines of solitude when they're alone in their room and with their books and they ponder, contemplate, and find solutions to them. This rich environment means that they have left the distracting world and have moved to a place where they make contact right in here, it's right in here. It's not some, and you always know when this is wrong, some fiery thing appears and told you this and told you that. Now you know where we're headed for a cancellation of this show. <laughs> no, it's, it's more subtle and more rich than this. Beautiful world. Perhaps we were able to achieve a contemplation about yourself. And that you are most fortunate to have others in your troop who are self-contemplating as well. And that with a collaborative effort, that true and meaningful power can begin to emerge effectively 
from your groups, from your family, from yourself, from other great students on the journey. This is important. It is not important that everyone think like you. You cannot interpret the other entity's onion only that it makes you cry. that hidden truths are not for you to know about another person because that only encourages the cover-up and the odious odor of it. That in understanding self-help, you have no prerogative in placing upon another entities your own interpretation and therefore reaching your own treasury. That was, instead of a mountain, it was only a pebble, but it was embarrassing at the time. You have no degree, as it were, in enlightenment to misinterpret another person's hidden agenda the block in their path. What you can know as a truth is that you have company too. And that we arrive at pure logic and indeed pure reasoning. That we understand that this is a self-imposed condition on a mass level. Adhering to the Christian relic of the good and bad and the social relic of, of conformity. So we surrender a greater mind and a greater freedom to hold on to what we're afraid we will lose if we achieve such height and status. After all, the emotional body goes a long way in procuring and then the temptation of enslaving others around you. Therefore, everyone must find their stone and it is their journey. You will know it because what has been the guardian at the gate has now been dismissed. The freeing up of all of, all of the cover-up, only to find a stone, only that energy gives you wings to fly, gives your mind permission to explore, and gives your body a relief. And as a troop, the collaborative effort of truly raising this consciousness because it is only you who have to begin the process that are the ones who abide in the cover up of shame, embarrassment, neediness, lack, all of those things. You all know those things. When all of that energy is dispelled, the truth becomes very powerful as a social group. The family becomes very powerful as a social group. And freedom has a greater chance of cultivating the prosperity of love and health and joy and moreover, adventure. I am so happy, world, that you're changing. So be it.